Hello everyone and welcome back to APN Gaming. My name is Jared aka Cornfed Cracker 93 and we are here to talk about our universe mode today. So to explain why we're going to make some changes to the universe mode as it goes by the title here, you'd have to kind of know a little bit of the backstory. So what's going on with my life as I work a 40 our minimum job most of the time there's more than that in a week so I don't have a lot of time to make content when I do have a moment I do enjoy making the content so let me first start by saying the content is absolutely not gonna stop on the channel however in order for me to be able to bring you more universe mode episodes more often we have to kind of get creative and come up with a way that I can do so and be able to just balance my work, my hobby, and my family life all in amongst those. So, what we're going to do when it comes to universe mode is change some things around. You know, typically during a, a 20 to a 30 minute episode, there's at least probably close to an hour worth of recording footage especially if I have a lot of extra stuff thrown in there um, you know a lot of extra behind the scenes and then there's at least another hour in editing and then there's at least you know a half hour worth of commentary that I'm voicing over for all of those so for me I'm like how can I cut this down it's getting to the point where I'm I'm not enjoying doing it because I have to set aside all this time to do all the steps and the editing process is one thing because I can literally be doing anything while I'm editing so that part's not the problem the recording process obviously I don't want to dull down the story uh, at all really I would like to keep the story going keep a good flow when it comes to story um, so I don't really want to change that aspect of it so the recording aspect I really can't change what I can change is the commentary aspect. So one of the things that I, I and here's the thing, I really didn't I really don't want to not commentate my matches. But if it means that I can bring you more episodes and I have to you know do things a little bit differently, I am willing to do it. Um I'm cutting down on a half hour per episode of recording my commentary over the matches over all of that stuff and I'm like oh there's a commentary in the game already and it's not as bad as it used to be it's a lot better than it used to be um, and we can kind of see what the commentary entails. I still want to put on really great matches I still want to uh, you know maintain the match quality that we've had from universe mode from the state and back but I can change things up to make the commentary so I don't have to voice over every matchup. So what we're going to do, if I lay it all out for you, universe mode going forward, starting now, at the time of this video being uploaded, is going to consist of me addressing you with some new graphics and stuff that we're going to bring in at the beginning of the episode. Some well, a portion of it. I'm not sure how it's gonna look yet, but we're working on it right now. So there'll be a little bit more graphics in the beginning, um, discussing what's going to take place on this episode, discussing what happened on the last episode, and kind of me commentating a little bit in the beginning to get it going. And then we're gonna start our show. We're gonna tell our story with the show. The matches will no longer be commentated by me, they're going to be commentated by the in-game commentators. And then the extra scenes and stuff like that we will work out in a way that uh, maybe has me commentating and we silence the other ones just to kind of fill in that void. There is cutscenes that are already in the game that will be commentated by the in-game commentation. But the stuff like what happened in our last episode, if you did not see this, we're going to have this big spoilers here. But the attack from Finn Balor at the end of Cody Rhodes' match, that stuff like that that we fill in with will likely be commentated by me as the commentators are not going to be able to fill in that story aspect that I'm looking for. So, 
we're, we're gonna rework some things but with that comes actually some pros we don't have to limit our shows because before I was like well we, we can't have all these championships you know extra ones that I might do we can't do certain things because I'm trying to limit it to the three shows at one point in time I had gotten rid of doing NXT altogether just because NXT Raw and Smackdown were a lot of stuff to do for three videos I mean you're talking all of that stuff that I broke down time wise times three so we're streamlining this a little bit I can put content out more often and I don't have to worry about that time constraint in that aspect so I still got to do editing but uh, the episodes will be a little bit more streamlined and I think honestly they'll be a little bit more enjoyable obviously if I had a max amount of time and I was doing this for a full-time career I would love to commentate every last bit, love to tell my story the way, you know, the way I want to do it like we have been. But I think the commentation part of it I can get rid of and still keep the aura around universe mode alive. So we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be telling a story at the beginning of the episode with commentation, commentary, common commentation, I, I, making up words during the but with the commentary in the beginning, uh, kind of breaking down what's going to happen in the episodes. And then the actual matches and in-game content will be commentated by the in-game commentators. And the matches are still going to be played by me because I enjoy playing the game. But I also kind of can control a little bit of a story aspect in the match. Whereas instead of, you know, having pinfalls after bad moves that are causing for wins and stuff... There's a piece of that that I would enjoy, but I, I love playing the game, so and I want to bring you guys really great matches. With that, we can work with the sliders a little bit to really put on great matches. So it really doesn't matter what I'm talking about during the match. And that's a piece that I can cut out and kind of make it easier for me to edit and bring you guys content more often. So that is the reason for it. Uh, we're going to keep this video kind of short and sweet, but if you guys are enjoying Universe Mode, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the new content. Changes are coming to Universe Mode, but I swear they're not all bad. Um, in a perfect world, I would love to keep doing things similar to what I'm doing them right now, but it's just not possible for me. <laughs> it's just not. So we're going to change up a little bit. We're still going to keep universe mode alive we're still going to maintain uh, a lot of what you know and love from universe mode we're just making it a little bit more um, streamlined for me to be able to bring out content more often so hopefully we'll have a situation where universe mode is not only to SummerSlam and then we have to end the season maybe we can get through a whole season before you know we uh, finish universe mode because there's a lot of arenas and stuff we did not see in WWE 2K22 that maybe we could see now in the new game so we're going to try to aim for that we're going to try to you know keep universe mode flowing keep some new stuff coming in and that is our goal so like comment subscribe hit that notification bell stay up to date on all the new content and we will see you guys next time right here on APN Gaming